Hi everyone, welcome to part 5 on my video series featuring the Quantum Stylus 9960. In this segment, I'm going to show you the alphabets which are built in to the memory of this machine. This is the LCD screen as it appears when you turn on your machine. Now the lower right hand button is the same button that we use to access many of the decorative stitches. If we press that button, you'll notice that it suggests to use foot B in your machine and just below it is, is a series of decorative stitches. If we press that button one more time, you'll notice that the five different alphabets that are built into this machine will appear. Once again, your machine has suggested using foot B installed in your machine while stitching out the letter stitching. So I wanted to give you a small explanation as to why that is and what makes that foot the perfect foot to use while using decorative stitching or your letter stitching. Now here is foot A, which is your general purpose sewing foot, what is used for regular sewing, for utility sewing, any simple sewing that you would do. And what I'd like you to notice on the back is there's a small depression. This is so the foot comes in closer contact with the fabric as you're sewing along. Now I'd like you to notice foot B, which is the foot that they suggest you use while using your decorative stitches and your letter stitch pattern. Now on the back, notice that there is a larger groove. This is so the foot floats over the stitches that it's stitching so that it doesn't get hung up or caught on any of the decorative stitch patterns you're using or letters that you may be stitching out. After deciding what you'd like to stitch out, whether it be a name, a date, or a special phrase, the machine can memorize a maximum of 60 different characters or patterns together. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using the first font, the Gothic Stitch, and we're going to scroll through. I'm going to stitch out the word Stitch using the capital S, scrolling over to the lowercase t, scrolling back to the I, scrolling forward back to the T, scrolling back to the C, and forward to the H. Next I'd like you to notice the third row of buttons down. These buttons are your editing tools. This first button, if you press that button, will bring you all the way back to the beginning of the word stitch. The last button will bring you to the end of the word stitch. Now these two center buttons will either back you up by one or will advance you one character at a time to add a letter or to insert a pattern. The last thing I'd like to show you before I stitch this out is that you can create a space and then insert either a decorative stitch or a pattern. So we're going to scroll all the way to the end after the number 9 and we're going to use this empty box to create a space. Then I would like to insert a butterfly. So we will go to the bottom right hand button again, scroll through all the fonts until we get back to the decorative stitch menu. And now we're going to scroll through to the butterfly and insert a butterfly at the very end. For stitching out this test pattern, I prepared a piece of poly cotton woven fabric and I've used bonded fusible interfacing on the back. When doing any kind of decorative stitching or letter stitching, 
it's always a smart idea to interface your fabric. It will help you avoid any kind of puckering and will help make your stitches look more professional. Now let's drop the presser foot and stitch the word stitch. As you can see, I'm barely holding the fabric and guiding it along as it stitches. And that's because this machine has a box feeding system, which is very smooth and pulls your fabric along very evenly. Now we're coming to the end in the space, and now it's stitching out the butterfly. And you can choose to stop at the end of the butterfly, or it will start to stitch the word stitch again. But I'm going to stop it here so I can show you what that looks like. Now if you notice between each of the letters there's a little tack stitch or a jump stitch and if you just snip in between those and cut them apart your word will look nice and clean and neat. And here's the final product of the word stitch with the little butterfly. Notice that I cut out all the little tack or jump stitches between the letters and it looks nice and neat and professional. Now if you'd like to see a sample of what each one of the fonts look like, you can go to my blog and I've stitched out all the uppercase, the lowercase, and the numbers of each of the four fonts. So you can see exactly what they look like and how they stitch out. Well thanks everyone for stopping by for part 5 in my video series on the Singer Quantum Stylus 9960. I always appreciate your emails, messages, and any comments you leave me, and especially when you request something in particular that you would like to see me do a video on. So have a happy creative day. Bye now.